Do you want to use image prompts in mid-journey? Or perhaps you want to take two separate images and combine them into something completely new. Well, in either of those cases, you're going to need to know how to upload images into mid-journey. And I'm going to show you how to do that in today's video. But before we get started, if you'd like to get updated on my future videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to upload images into Midjourney, or alternatively how you can upload images elsewhere in order to use them in Midjourney afterwards. Now, why would you want to do that in the first place? Well, Midjourney has a couple of features that allow you to use other external images in order to create something new. Um, in previous versions, the only way to do that was to use classic image prompts, and then you would use image weights to define how much influence that image should have on your prompt. Now, with version four, things have changed slightly. You can now actually take two images and just combine them together to create something completely new. I'm not going to go into detail on how these features work too much today. Uh, I'll actually record a different separate video on that that goes into much more detail. However, I'll quickly illustrate just uh, based on one example. For now, what we want to do is I just want to show you how to actually upload the images. Now, before I show you how to upload it in Midjourney itself, technically what you could do is you could go to any sort of website where there were images that you wanted to use and you could easily just right click and copy the link to that image. So let me just quickly show you. If I was now in Google Photos, right here, this is actually my personal account. If I was in Google Photos, I could easily take this picture, right click, copy image address. Now, if you're using Chrome, I think it might actually be called copy image link. Um, sorry, this is actually Chrome. If you're using Firefox, then it might be called copy image link. But this is how easily you could do this. So technically, I could also just go to, um, let me do an image search for cactuses. Go to images, and if I wanted to use, let's say, well, maybe not that one, but if I wanted to use this image of a cactus, I could just right click, copy image address, and then I could use that Im as an image prompt within Midjourney. I don't actually need to upload them to Midjourney. However, if you are using images that you've collected on your hard drive, uh, or for, for whatever reason, they're not actually from some other site on, on, on the internet, then what you would want to do is you would need to have that, you would need to upload them somewhere in order to be able to use them in Midjourney. So the easiest way to do this is literally to do it in Midjourney. So in order to do that, what you want to do is you'll go down to the bottom where your chat uh, or sort of your message field is. You click on the plus button and you say upload file. And I've prepared a few, few images here. I'm gonna select all three of them because I'm gonna use them as examples. And, oh, that's interesting. This one has not actually come fully downloaded, which is unfortunate. I'm going to, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the other ones then instead. So we're gonna use these two. I select them. Now they show up here, but this is, doesn't mean that they're uploaded yet. You still need to hit enter. And what this will do is it will upload them into your Discord chat or the channel that you're in. And what you can do now is you can click on them, open the original. Now this is fairly important because sometimes this will actually just display a thumbnail, um, but you click on open the original so that you get as much image information as possible. Right click, copy image address, and then you're ready to go. Now, the other alternative to do this is you could also use a mid-journey prompt generator, such as Noonshot, which you'll find at prompt.noonshot.com slash midjourney. And this site actually has an integrated upload function. Uh, I, I do believe these images are deleted at some point uh, once you're done, but you can also upload your images here in this sort of upload section. You go to your file, 
and you wait for it to be uploaded. And there you go. Now, the nice thing about using this feature is the fact that it automatically populates this prompt down here with the URL that you need to use. Again, I would not necessarily use the site with private images. However, if you're using sort of random images from the internet, don't worry about it. You can just do this. However, we're going to go back to uh, Discord. And what we're going to do now is I'm just going to quickly show you how you would use these uploaded images in an actual command. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by typing imagine. Then I'm going to use, this is actually a very, very small image, but you'll be surprised it actually still works as well. So I'm going to type this in here and I'm going to take the other image. I'm going to add that as my second prompt and then second like image prompt. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little text that says Vladimir Putin being chased by a group of zombies. And let's see what happens. I'm gonna wait for it to generate. Right now, and so the image has finished generating. And if we zoom in, what you'll see is it'll use parts of the image or it'll use this image as inspiration and create something new. And it'll actually put the face of Vladimir Putin onto the body of the guy who's running. Now you might say, well, you made this, you kind of gave the thing too much information with regards to the fact that it's Vladimir Putin. Well, let's just try this one more time. And I'm pretty sure we'll see a slightly different result because I, it's actually true that I did gave it, give it a bit too much info, but we'll just try this one more time. This is basically just using the, wait, let me see, just take, it basically just takes these two images and it does whatever it needs to do. Uh, and this will take a little bit, just a sec. All right, and let's have a look at the images. And you can see that, yes, it does look a bit different, but it has taken those two images it has tried to incorporate the face of Vladimir Putin in some way on this dude. And you can see that it's not a horde of zombies that's chasing him, but it is basically a character or I don't know what this is, a Bigfoot or Yeti that's chasing him. And um, I, I will admit that just taking two images and combining them with absolutely no additional information will usually not result in the most realistic and prettiest images. However, um, it just goes to show you that these things were not possible before. I will do a separate video on how to use the, um, how to combine two images in Midjourney uh, properly and, and how you can actually make them look really, really good. But we'll, we'll do that in a separate video. Today's video was really just to show you how to upload images and then copy the URLs that you need for the image prompts. So just to revise real quick, you click on the plus, you hit upload file, you select the files, and then once they show up here, you can click on them, go to open original, right click, copy image address, and then you use that specific URL in your prompt. I hope that was clear enough and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch the full length of this video. If you found it useful and enjoyed it, it would mean the world to me if you hit the like button. And if you'd like to get notified the next time I release a new video, remember to hit the subscribe button just under the screen. I'll see you next time and take care. Bye.